Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, Zadan went ahead after everybody passed out in the cold and fought a black mage called the Black Waltz Number One. Or th three. Shit, yeah, one. It was one. <laughs> Working out my numbers. Ah, random battles. How I loathe the. I did spend a little bit of time outside of combat, running around and building up my characters just a little bit, so that way um, I could have some of the... Ah, oh, jeez, don't attack with the casting characters, idiots. What's wrong with me? <laughs> so that way I can give my uh, characters the... Ah, oh, damn it, I did it again. <laughs> So that way I can give my characters the newer, better weapons and armor that they're carrying around rather than sticking with the old stuff because of the whole AP system I um, mentioned in the earlier episodes. Taking a quick look before we run through the store at what we have going on here. Shit, hold on. Oh, we actually had something I could equip. Bandit. Alright. I dropped the Mage Masher because I I gained those abilities. And, uh... I guess, uh, Vivi is still holding on to the... Okay. I jumped up the Iron Sword from the Broadsword. Stuff that you'd expect me to do, provided I had the... I had gained the abilities. The Leather Wrist. That, I'm, uh... Geez, who, who could get Beast Killer? Hold on. Yeah, Beast Killer. I'm gonna want to put this on Zadan next. But, it's important that, uh, BV gain the Blizzard ability. And he's not really that far away from gaining it, so... We're gonna leave that on BV for the time being. Place is Purdy. And you have the opportunity to change it, I guess. <laughs> I like it, though. At least I'm going to say that. Yeah, that's... I shall try. No. Come on.
don't really know what Dagger is running away from while she comes to this place as opposed to allowing Steiner to take her back home. She's running away from something, but she hasn't really gone and talked much about that. On the world map, once we get out of this battle, we'll be able to see that the whole situation with the mist is a different issue up here. Yeah, you can kind of see it in this battle map, how we are above the mist line. Everything is a um, little bit higher altitude up there. Hold on, we'll have to wait till we get out of the battle. We can't see it from here. Just kill it. Pretty significant level of damage between Zadon and the casting characters like Vivi and Dagger. Vivi's got to be pretty close to getting that Blizzard ability, and then I can switch the leather armlet thing over to... Anyway, just check this out before we go anywhere. Can't get through. Okay. What this is is a literal gateway between the different countries. Remember we had seen some gates down in the deeper portions in the ca in the canyons and down that way. In fact, that was a gate down that way that we couldn't get to. We were down there earlier crawling around. In fact, I ran up until that point right there and then turned around. Let's see if I can get the mouse to show up on the screen around that area and then I turned around and went back because I couldn't really go anywhere the gates were set up a long time ago as sort of barriers between the countries because while the mist was prevalent in the world and the highlands like we are standing right now are a rather limited resource a lot of the, the different countries in this world were warring over each other a lot it's been pretty much peaceful between uh, since then but uh, gates are still maintained. Airships, as uh, the airships in the world aren't really capable of flying outside of the mist for too long because they actually use the mist itself as a fuel source. So, like while the, what was it called? Um, the Prima Vista, the airship that Tantalus had flown into Alexandria on at the time, flew out of the mist and into the city. It couldn't really have done that for very long. I guess, oh, there's an airship. <laughs> they seem not to be capable of flying very high for too long. So, they wouldn't be able to get over these mountains and have to pass through that gate. The gate is locked, like not allowing airships to pass through, though. So, it's sort of like a border crossing. Now, at the moment, we are still in the country of Alexandria. We haven't left that, but we're pretty distant away from the castle. Oh, okay. We're doing this now. Okay. The answer is true. I don't know that, actually. So, I actually just sort of, uh, went and looked it up. Wrong! What? The internet lied to me! Or did I accidentally hit false? Shit, I don't freaking know.
Anyway, sometimes that kind of crap happens. There's another kind of weird enemy in this game that you can encounter that um, essentially is doing the same kind of thing. But, uh, whatever. Before I enter the village, because that's actually going to happen in the next episode, so I'm going to take a look out there to see how, while we're above the... There's still kind of a bit of a uh, fog effect for items that are far away, but it's not really... I mean, the draw distance is pretty far out. And it's not really that obvious. And later on in the game, it's actually going to become even less of a fog area. The draw distance in this game is good enough to hit the horizon in the game. All the fog is down there. This idea of mist being a sort of dangerous thing is, of course, uh, prevalent in the Silent Hill series, but I think the first I'd really ever heard of it was the uh, Stephen King novella, um, The Mist. It wasn't that good, honestly. Like, a lot of Stephen King books aren't really that good. But, you know, it, it, this mist where monsters come out of. And in fact, the mist here, although civilization seems to be getting along with it, or surviving anyway, the mist is has a pretty big chokehold on the world. And it's sort of screwing everything up. Oh, you know what? Ah, shit. Did not expect that. I was trying to say before the battle happened, I don't have to go into the village right away. I can go over to the observatory. This functions as a uh, not only just an observatory, but also an airship dock. Later on in the game, we'll see this area again. But just a hello, guy. Just a, a time that we can wander around here. Gil, I love thee. Guess up here is where the dare ships would dock. They don't really need to dock in a location like this. It's a weather vane. They don't really need a lot to dock in a location like this, but uh, it's here anyway. Well, there we go. I'm going to head over to the village now, but I'm not going to go in there until the next episode, though. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.